Sweet Jesus Radio. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to Sweet Jesus Radio. Coming to you from House of D. <laughs> Just a house, guys. Nothing <laughs> special about it. That's, a, that's some, some medieval shit. Oh, no. House of uh, Lannister and all that. Oh, Game of Thrones shit. Uh, no guest to interview today. Uh, as I, if you might have caught, you might have caught my uh, Facebook post. Uh, once a month, at least, we're gonna shoot to do a recap of the previous month. Just me and D, D and me, and all that good stuff. Uh, we're gonna just talk about anything and everything, guys. So no interview today. But again, a lot of you guys are nice enough to to post some suggestions on topics topics we should talk about. That was nice. <laughs> very, very, very nice. Some of them were very, very, uh, they're fucking hilarious. We're going to read them all. We're going to try to talk about as many of them as possible, uh, depending on the time. And we have our own little uh, list of stuff we want to talk about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this. Sweet Jesus Radio. I'm just going to say just real quick, thank you to uh, the listeners, anybody that's been spreading the word and sharing the podcast on social media, word of mouth. I really appreciate it, guys. That's how we keep this thing going. Uh, and I'm really, really trying hard to get this thing on a weekly basis, just like the pros do. So this is part of that. And we got some other stuff in the works, mm -hmm. some little surprises, uh, working with just networking with all kinds of people in our area. Mm -hmm. So one of the first things here, let's see here. All right. So one of the things I kind of want to do maybe uh, every month, talk about, anybody that knows me knows I'm very passionate about customer service. Oh, here right, we go. D? Yes. <laughs> uh, it's, it's uh, you know, that's how you can tell that the damn country is going down the shitter. Because you see, that there's, there's just, the customer service is just horrible nowadays. Oh, no. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a special thing when you get good service and, you know, it makes you want to talk about it because it just... It's just the bad, the bad service is just, just running rampant. I blame so, Trump. But it's, it's Trump's fault. I, me personally, I blame uh, Obama and Trump. Wow. Trump Obama. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just came up with that. Nah, I just I blame all presidents. Yeah, I just off the top. Yo, check. Yo, listen, man. <laughs> yo. Um, but uh. yeah, I got a couple stories. One's positive. One is negative. Uh oh. And you know, if you're listening to this, listeners, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Share your stories on uh, bad or good customer service. But I did have a good experience at a local Little Caesars, Little Caesars Pizza. And Dee, feel free to chime in here. Right. Uh, I walk in. I get greeted, which is, it, is rare nowadays. Is it this one that you're talking about? No, this oh, is in okay. El Paso. Oh, okay. For those that, that, well, that, that don't know, we're in, we're in Las Cruces right now. Right. Uh, recording on February 7th. Wow. You even putting a date? So I have no idea when this is dropping. No, it's gonna come out soon. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> no, like, like I said, we're we're trying to drop these, uh, you know, consistently. But I walk in, young man greets me. I'm like, whoa, rare. That's very rare nowadays. Get greeted with a smile. Doesn't take much to impress you. Huh? Uh, hey, sh do you ever? When's the last time you got greeted at a at a place? Do they even? I don't go places to get greeted. Shit, I'll hey. tell you that much. If I'm spending money there, I better get greeted. <laughs> so this uh, this young man, you know, he's uh, got a smile on his face, which is awesome. There, there you go, another another uh, box checked on the Jesus list of uh, customer service. And yeah, he was uh, he was just he was great throughout the whole uh, experience. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> but, but he was just being awesome, and I told him, "Hey, man, you know, props on your customer service." That's rare nowadays. Oh, he's like, thank you, sir. You know, yeah, no problem, you know. And then uh, I said, do you have a, a website or something I can go to to kind of uh, let your superiors know the, the good job that you did? And he said, oh, I don't know. I just uh, kind of, I'm kind of new here. Let me ask my manager. The manager comes out and the manager comes out all stoic. Looks like a fucking robot. This is the manager. He's like, yeah, what's going on? Uh, like, what the fuck? This is the manager. His his this guy's uh, his subordinate, you know, for lack of a better word. Uh, he's doing a great job. The manager's all, oh yeah, well here's he gives me a he gives him a card that has the website where you can do kind of like a survey and give some feedback. And so I take the card and I you know I'm like I say my goodbyes, but I'm like man. Oh, and it turns out it's his first day, so obviously he wasn't. 
train there to deliver good customer service because that's his first day. So he learned it somewhere else. Maybe that's just the way he is all the time. Maybe he just, his previous place of employment. Making I don't know. a lot of assumptions. Uh, we, don't, we don't know. Sure. Um, but you did a great Do job. Do we ever know? But the funny, the, the part, the bad part is the manager, his boss was a fucking robot. So that's the shit that pissed me off. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, in the survey, I had to, I'm that guy that'll do the surveys for one. <laughs> only, I only do it if there's a chance to win money. That's uh, it. That's hey, it. Subway gives free cookies, man. Oh, well, man, I don't know about that. I don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> no, I, I got to do my part in giving feedback and uh, improving America, you know, making America, America great again. You know what I'm saying? We call, uh, at, at, at my work, we call feedback uh, a gift. It is a gift. There you go. See? I'm gifting people. Yeah. Sure Drop, <laughs> dropping gems on them. I guess so. Uh, blessing motherfuckers. <laughs> but yeah, no. Nah, so, you know, I gave my feedback, but it turned out it was his first day. So obviously he didn't learn it there, especially not from that whack ass manager. So there's that story, guys. Again, uh, another interaction I had was here in Las Cruces at a local Walmart. I was with my friend. We went to go, uh, I forgot, we're buying some ingredients for some dinner. And we had some beer. She rings everything up. A young girl. So I'm already not expecting much. Uh, and it's Walmart. <laughs> but still. So she rings everything up. And she she stays quiet. She's just quiet. She's just standing there. There's this awkward, long silence. And me and my friend are like, what the fuck? And then my friend speaks up like, uh, are you okay? What's going on? <laughs> oh, it's because I'm not 21. I have to wait for somebody to come authorize the purchase of the alcohol. And I'm like, uh, you couldn't. So you were just going to stand there. You weren't going to say anything. <laughs> it was like this long silence. And she just points at a sign, like this little tiny sign that says, if the, you know, this, this clerk is under 21. So you're going to have to wait when you're, when you're putting your products down, you, you can't, you don't see the sign. So, I'm like, okay, you can't use common sense. Open your mouth. Like, okay, sir, uh, give me a second. Uh, I got to wait for a manager to come authorize this. Nope, just silence. So that was weird. And then the manager, quote unquote, comes another really young person. She starts pushing buttons, doing whatnot. Ask for my ID. I pull the ID out. I mean, I, well, I took my wallet out, man. I showed her, you know, with the ID in the wallet. You didn't take she it looks out. at it. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is fine. But just right off the bat, her demeanor, her body language and everything was weird. And then she says, oh, can you, yeah, can you pull it out? Which is like, okay. <laughs> like, no, so you're, you're used to hearing that though, right? Well, it's kind of like, well, I the comment I made to my friend. Well, yeah, I know. That's what she said, right? <laughs> it took me a while. The PBR is kicking in. <laughs> Come on, I'm dropping these gems. You're supposed to say that's what she said. Oh, my bad. <laughs> you know, shout out to mm. Steve Carell. Uh, <laughs> but, um, so no, no, like I told uh, my friend, I was like, oh, I guess they don't say please here. Because like, you would think like, oh, sir, can you, can you please pull out your ID? She's just like, yeah, I need you to pull it out. Like she's a cop or something. Like, God damn. So strike two, like two different people, the manager. Like, okay, like, and I pull it out and, you know, we go, we purchase our stuff. We go on our way. Of course, you know, fill out the survey afterwards <laughs> on the walmart.com or whatever. Wow. But it's like, damn, like literally like a cop, like, I need to see your ID. Like, bitch, I have fucking, I don't mind pulling my ID out. I'm just, can you say please? Like, wow. You're an employee. Am I wrong, dude? Please and thank you. No, please and right. thank you go a really long way. We were oh. just talking about the thank yous. The thank yous, yeah. Mm -hmm. A certain somebody didn't say thank you. Mm. But, but hey, <laughs> so what's your like? What's your minimum customer service wise? Let's go minimums, guys. Okay. Just minimum. To be perfectly honest with you, I think uh, unfortunately I have a lot of minimums <laughs> that I live by, as as we've seen recently. <laughs> but the minimum I expect, honestly, is. If I go someplace um, or if I call someplace, I just want the person to help me in an efficient manner yeah. and give me what I ask for or at least close to it or whatever. That's it. 
I mean, you don't got to small talk me. You don't got to yeah, no. fluff nothing. You don't, you know, you don't even necessarily have to be particularly friendly. You just have to be good at what you do. Give me what I want and go about your day. Definitely. Well, if it's, uh, you mean on the phone calling in for something? I mean, what about yeah, face to face? Face to face. I'm just like, as long as you don't look like you're angry and that yeah. you hate life, I'm cool because you that know, shit pisses me. <laughs> well, because you know what? I mean, the thing that I can't understand, it's like my interaction with this person is going to be what? Like a minute exactly. at most. And if you can't fake it for a minute, I know. get the fuck out That's of my face. That's what I told my ex-girlfriend. Oh, yeah. I bet you did. <laughs> That's familiar, awesome. too. So, <laughs> so, again, guys, if you want to share your stories, that's me. Uh, I'm going to probably try to rant about that every month because I'm sure I'll come up with. I mean, I got another story, but I'm going to save it for next month. <laughs> Okay, so we got. I didn't uh, really want to. I didn't ahead. really want to kill the mood right now, but I swear you've already told that story. I did. Which one? The, the Caesars. Caesars. Yeah. I might have told that one because it wasn't that new. You might have said it on the last podcast that we did together. Did I? Okay. <laughs> I guess hey. I should have read your notes a little bit more thoroughly. Oh, Dad, thanks a lot. <laughs> no, the, that, that one is older, but I wasn't sure if I had done it before. But hey. Obviously, some, it's, some new listeners, new listeners. That's new to you. And obviously, <laughs> it's still on your mind. So you know what? Speak on it. Well, because I don't want to just deliver negative ones. That's why. Oh, so. I see. Okay. So, oh, that's. But the they're hard to one. find positive ones. That's I the guess bad that's part. True. Yeah. And there's a lot of like neutral ones. Like, oh, okay, it's not wasn't bad. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, right here at uh, the other day at uh, the Shell on Del Rey here, Las Cruces for the listeners. Um, here's one that this is like not a complex one, but. You can't always judge a book by its cover. Definitely. There's nothing wrong with judging a book by its cover. Like in some instances, it's safe if somebody looks right. dangerous I mean, to judge a book. Yeah, you can only go by what someone shows you. you yeah, know but I mean? you know, like let's say you're walking, uh, you know, late night and somebody looks kind of scary looking and they just keep following you judge a book by its cover hmm. and fucking run or get the mace out or whatever. Hmm. But in this case, young lady, you know, not, if you were to look at her, not trying to be whatever, but. She looked, she was a little rough around the edges. We'll just say that. Okay. All right. So I'm thinking, all right, I'm going to get the freaking weird robotic treatment. But no, uh, you know, all all shitty tattoos aside, she (laughs) was very friendly and yes, sir, no, sir, please. Thank you. So that was pretty cool. So shout out to, I think her name was Amy over at the shell on Delray. (laughs) That's nice. Okay. Well, three letters. There you go. Boom. Glad you remembered. Uh, the reason I go there is because I get points on my giants, giant rewards. Right. Yes, card, we talked about dad, that. That's the so. only place you get points in cruises. Yeah. What the fuck? Well, we ain't Texas. Get a free uh, Monster Energy drink once in a while. A little fountain drink, Ew. coffee. So there's the customer service. Next on the list, another thing that's plaguing America besides bad customer service is people's misuse oh my of God. the word masseuse. I, I wouldn't necessarily call it a It's plague, plague in America. I was, <laughs> it's a bit extreme, <laughs> but, you know, I guess in your world. Uh, guys, do, do we have the definitions up here? Uh, I keep hearing yeah. people say masseuse this, masseuse that. Mm-hmm. Speaking uh, about massage therapists. It says masseuse simply refers to a female, masseur to a male. Exactly. It's that simple, guys. Guys, so if it's a fucking dude wow. rubbing your back and genitals or whatever else, it's a masseur. That's not a Saturday night. Well, whatever. <laughs> whenever you take your pill and, you know, the Vicks pops out. Uh, happy endings. Oh, wow. Male is masseur, guys. Masseur. Female when? is masseuse. First of all, who are you hanging around with that masseuse. is misusing these words? Who, I, I'm who not hanging out with anybody. I'm seeing it on Facebook. What? And I'm, yeah. People are talking about it that much? you're going to see. The fuck yeah. I'm going to see it everywhere now. Now you're going to see it. Masseuse, guys. And if you didn't know the difference, you're welcome. Now you know. I just told you. Google's Uh, an interesting place. I'm not a fucking uh, grammar Nazi, spelling Nazi. I'm more like a troll. (laughs) There's a difference. Definitely a troll. Nazis, grammar Nazis uh, actually get annoyed by that shit. You do make fun of me for saying supposedly. Yeah. I'm a troll. A troll but I spell does it, it to fuck with y'all. A Nazi actually really gets annoyed by it. Mm-hmm. Like they're genuinely bothered by it. I don't give a fuck. Mm-mm. Use it wrong all you want. Right. But if I can fuck with you, I'm going to take that opportunity. Nah. That's, a, that's a troll. Hey, I know Grammar that. Grammar troll. Believe me. So there you go. Very she, yeah, She's experienced in that. So I'm, just, I'm with it. <laughs> so real quick, masseuse and masseur. Did you know that before today? D? Me? Yeah. 
Um, I guess maybe not. However, yeah, I don't to know. really care. You want a massage right now? <laughs> that that now I know for sure. No, <laughs> <laughs> that I can definitively answer. So just a quick lesson, guys. You oh know, you learned something new today. Uh, again, you're welcome. Mas- masseuse thank you. versus masseur. Thank I you. I mean, I guess. Thank you. Question mark. Question mark. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> hey right. what happens if you're going for a massage and you refer to this uh this young man as a masseuse and he's a male what's gonna happen yeah what is he gonna do what is he gonna say he might drop a digit on you he might uh might do something he might the massage might be weird as just like I, when you, I can already tell you it's you gonna negative, be weird negative feedback to a restaurant what happens you get your food spit on well that's why you wait till the you end you call this male a masseuse what happens well, i'm not gonna call him shit until he's done well what do you mean by done <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, so oh, uh, next on the list, Super Bowl Sunday. I can't even believe you want to talk about this. Super Bowl Sunday. <sighs> D, did you watch the Super Bowl? Did, no, I sure didn't. In fact, did I not. didn't even know who won until the following day. Well, a lot of people didn't because they went to sleep because they thought <laughs> the game was in the fucking bag. I went to sleep like at 3 o'clock, wasn't. though. Damn. Yeah, I was out. So just real quick, Super Bowl I mean, about. everybody and their mama is going to be talking about this. So I'm just not, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. So let me just say that um, I just, you know, I nearly lost my shit every single time someone Holy keeps mentioning shit. this fucking Super Bowl. Because first it's of getting all, getting old already. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was old before it even happened. Because first of all, you know, obviously my team, not in it. Yeah. Um, don't really care. Exactly. Uh, especially the fact that the Patriots were in it. I mean, Tom Brady, yeah, that worse. woman, I just cannot deal with him. I'm stab him so yeah, he's just, I can't. That's so like Trump Melania right there. Oh my God. <laughs> I just can't, I just can't stand him. So I wasn't too interested in the Super Bowl period. Um, what I did hear though, there were a few, uh, thing, uh, records broken. Yeah. A lot of records. Broken. Uh, apparently it was the most, uh, appearances at a Super Bowl by a quarterback and a coach yep. together. Yep. Okay. That's one. Five. Uh, yep. And then there was the first Super Bowl to go into OT. Is that right? Yep. And then, uh, what else? Oh, the uh, the comeback from the deficit. Biggest the point, comeback. Yeah, the point. Deficit. That's how horrible the fucking Falcons <laughs> are. Because I don't like the Patriots. Y'all fuck Falcons. Oh, God. You had one job. <laughs> Just kids, win. Twenty five point lead. I think it was. I can't even believe the it. biggest lead that's ever been overcome in a Super Bowl. That's how is ten points, dude. That's how I These know these motherfuckers overcame. That's Illuminati shit. Dog. Well, that's how I know I'm, uh, that that I was right not to watch that shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit was heartbreaking. I, I mean, it's whatever, but I just don't like these fucking Patriots, man. Yeah, I'm over it. Um, but again, what's another thing? Okay, so my Super Bowl Sunday is boom, eating a bunch of food. Jeez. Fucking Falcons are winning. I'm watching the damn. You thing didn't bring me head. any, by huh? the way. You didn't bring me any food. That's a long story. Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh shout out oh. to my homegirl Isabel for. Hooking up the grub. I like how you call her homegirl now. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> damn, son. We'll talk about that later. That's another podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> um, I had to watch that shit on my laptop, which is fine. Here's the thing. Laptop starts acting up Uh-oh. right at the end of the third quarter. So I'm like, ah, eh, whatever. It's already over anyways. I'm watching it on Fox Sports Go. That's over, whatever. So we start watching some Luke Cage, trying to turn her on to some good shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then I'm like, I fucking go on NFL.com or one of these websites. I'm like, holy shit, it's 20 to 28. And I try the fucking uh, app again and it's working. It's like, holy fuck, it's a game again. Excuse me. So we start watching again. And then sure enough, here come the damn Patriots. You know, and, and you know, props to them. They, they did their thing. They came back. But, uh, you can never, it's not over till it's over, especially with somebody like Brady and Belichick. Um, I'm still waiting to hear if uh, the ball's, you know, on the weight and the deflate. So we'll see what's up. <laughs> it's still early. But, but uh, yeah, man. I mean, it was horrible. <laughs> Falcons, come on. So, so that was that, man. I mean, they came back and I went on a whole tirade of crazy, weird jokes and comments <laughs> and posts on Facebook, drunk and stuff. <laughs> Can you pull that out? Let's see. Let's, oh, man. Let's, let's I'm, read some I'm of these. I'm glad I missed that, honestly. <laughs> Jesus I missed Christ. a bunch of stuff. I just slept. I'm not like trying to like, I just, because I don't remember half of them. That's the only reason I want to check them out. I'm sure. Um, But yeah, it was, a, it was a bunch of weird shit. You post a lot. It's going to take me a minute, okay? Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, go down to. So again, you know, congratulations to the Patriots and all that. 
Illuminati victory. They Do we got. really have to congratulate them? I'm sure everybody else has. Uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm just trying to be. What? Take the higher road, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man, I'm not about that right now. But it was fun. I had fun. Um, I ate good. I drank good. Oh, here we go. Let's see. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting to him. All right. Let's see. Uh, will Shillery supporters start posting not my Super Bowl champion? Hey, you called that shit. <laughs> right. Because some people were posting that out. shit. Yes. See some fuck yeah. Not my not my Super Bowl or something. Yeah. Or not something like Both. that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, since Brady is a Trump supporter, is this Patriots victory part of making America great again? <laughs> I can't stand you right now. I'm so glad I missed all of these. God. Uh, hey, is there... <laughs> uh, f- oh man, this is a. Hey, this is okay. <laughs> Falcon suck as bad as the music that comes out of there, there you except go. for a few. Who are the few? Southcast, and okay. that's it. I think. Wow. What else we got? Uh, just ordered a Patriots jersey. Yeah, I want to fucking kill you I'm right gonna, now. No, fuck. I'm joking about that. Yeah, you that, that you need to delete that. But um, I am known to be wearing Redskins jerseys. Uh, yeah, seen. <laughs> I as I've seen, yes. Earlier this year or 2016. Good, good Lord. Okay, let's see. There's more, though. Hold on. Some some other good ones here. Some other gems. What's that alt-right one? Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, let's see. So, food post. Okay, whatever. Oh, since Brady and Belichick are Trump supporters, are Patriots fans who also voted for Killary really <laughs> conflicted right now asking for a friend? <laughs> you have no friends. That is true, wrong. True. Okay, quote of the day. The refs were Russian. Hey, you stole that from Eric Ibarra, though. Yeah, I gave him the quote of the day. It's yeah, not, and, you, and you mine. also gave him credit. I tagged yeah, him. Shout sure out to Eric. All right. Oh, um, alt-right over ATL Falcons. Wow. Alt-right is greater than ATL Falcons. Um, let's see. Might have been it. That's, uh, oh, if you're posting anything <laughs> other than the Super Bowl right now, you worse than ISIS. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> Do people still say real talk? That was like, like that I really was, don't talk about that. That was ten fifty two p.m. You were like deep in it at this point, deep in it. Hey man, I'm patriotic. It's you can only is it Super Bowl man. And then apparently you took days off because I don't see you posting. Well, I mean, did I? Oh no, I mean yesterday was just Monday. See, I feel like the week has been going Dang. like flying by. That it's all that sleeping that. on the couch. Yeah, I've been yeah, I've been noticing that shit. Mm-hmm. Some. Uh, that's weird. That's another. That's, that's also that, that's another also podcast. another podcast, guys. <laughs> we can we can go into that next topic. Oh yeah. Oh, what is the next topic? Galentine's. Oh yeah. The Valentine's coming time up. Time of year. But fuck Valentine's. It's all right. about Galentine's. It's all about Galentine's. With a G, guys, not a V. A G. You and I have been. What's this for? This is going to be the fourth. Can but, we tell uh, the listeners what what's, what what Galentine's is? Yes. The history let's, of Galentine's. Let's talk about it. So those who are not. Um, Parks, parks, uh, parks and Rec fans as well. Park, it's Parks and Rec. It oh. is definitely a Parks and Rec thing. Uh, Gal- Galentine's Day, and this is just me searching Galentine's Day, okay, uh, is a holiday that um, Leslie Nope on that Parks and Rec uh, created, apparently. She's credited with creating it. Damn. That occurs every year on February 13th. So it's the day before Valentine's Day, obviously. Um so it, it's apparently only the best day of the year, but it's meant <laughs> for women to celebrate it with other women who maybe won't be celebrating Valentine's <laughs> Day. don't have Valentine's. Right, which is the story of my life. <laughs> so I was about to say, me, you and I have been friends for now, like, it's going to be four years, pretty much well, five Us years. Us women almost. have celebrated, this will be the fourth but I was gonna say Galentine's. the fourth time that we've been single too. That's we've been single for as well, long as we've known each at other. At that point, at Valentine's, yeah. Please, I would consider you single. The yeah, that's true. Time. That's true. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Yeah, pretty mm-hmm. much. Because mm-hmm. that don't count. Nah, fuck no. You but I'm count. saying like the first year. Who the fuck? Uh, yeah, pretty single. Yeah. yeah. No, because then yeah. I'm trying to think. <laughs> wow, it's been pretty dry. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah that so that don't count <laughs> that no so that that's been our thing uh every year we've gone someplace new so where do we go where have we been where have we been Man, crave been... was one of them yes was it two <laughs> no nah, crave was just one of them and then i think we went someplace ode, ode. yes we did do ode we went uh, someplace i think where they did pizza or something was Is that, that was that good? Uh, maybe it wasn't that was just a bay date that Rulies. Shit. Something like I don't know. That was that Unruly's kitchen, but that wasn't Galentine's. No, nah, that was Bay Date. 
Bay date styles. Bay date. I don't remember Shh, actually. Need to document Dang, these better. I know. We must. We're, what? What's wrong? Our with memories us? are. <laughs> I'm not even as old as you. All What's right, going so, on here? Okay, so I promise to document this upcoming Valentine's a lot better. Right. So basically, more though, pictures, we've, we've more, gone to different places yeah, every single time. So Some that's spots, yes. usually in El Paso. Usually in El Paso. This year, are we All doing it in Paso. cruises or what? This year's cruises. I All right. We're gonna Didn't we it. talk about this? What's uh, what's the, what are the options on the table here? Um, I wanted to go to Boba's, which, if you are from Las Cruces, is a nice little gem of a of a restaurant. Uh, very casual, has some interesting things on the menu, um, super affordable as well. And they're also real known for their bubble teas. So that's the teas with like the tapioca balls in them. Holy shit. Kind of like, I don't know, trendy among some folk. But, um, okay. you know, it's a really cute place. I've gone there for years. So it's, and then I, I would like to share it with you I'm since down. you've never been there. Let's do it. Yeah. So that's. How do you spell that? B-O-B-A-S? B-O-B-A, yeah. Apostrophe S. Yes, yeah. Well, I don't know if, uh, I mean, I've been saying this shit for years. I mean, we do Galentine's, but every once in a while I'll have some side shit going on. And I feel like I came up with this shit, but, you know, the internet might prove me uh, wrong. I got, the internet's I, I don't, I don't, I don't, right. I don't have uh, plans this year for it, but I have my own shit called Palentine's, where it's just friends shit, but it's on Valentine's Day. Oh, I but see. But it's with a friend. Mm hmm. So, you know, feel free to use it, guys. Uh, if you're going to use my, my terms and shit, my hashtags, you know, it's uh, 50 cents per use. Wow. Uh, Good luck collecting. You know, holler on the PayPal and shit. <laughs> Palantines with a P. Palantines. Snap cash that to you. I started that shit. Uh, trademark. <laughs> Fucking 2013. Um, <laughs> so that's Galentine's, guys. Bobas. Uh, so we'll shout talk, out to Crave and all that. We'll talk about Galentine's at, uh, at, at the next Stay monthly tuned. podcast. Yep. We'll, have yeah, a detailed recap of it's gonna be very detailed. Yeah, maybe too detailed. Oh, I'm too already detailed. Oh, already shit. planning on it. Damn. Uh, well, it's getting hot. In that's here. our life. <laughs> 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 All right. So next topic, real quick. Let's just do a real quick recap of the most recent Sweet Jesus Radio episodes. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, we're talking January. I only did two in January. February is gonna be a lot busier. What do we have uh, besides the recap? That we did for 2016. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about what is it, Luciana? <clears throat> yes. The homie, so episode 58. Friend. Yeah, your new bud. Uh, emotional integration. That's oh, the title shit. of it. That's with uh, Luciana Garcia. She's from the Meditation Studio. That's so right. she's a life coach, uh, hypnotherapist, holistic therapist, meditation instructor, Reiki pra practitioner. That's a mouthful. Yeah, baby. That's what that's what mm, she, that's what he said. Yeah, baby. Oh, that's wrong. Lucy, uh, <laughs> Luciana Garcia talks about her childhood, what inspired her to explore meditation, auditioning for La Voz, meeting her meditation master, and emotional integration. We get to hear about the services offered at her shop, the meditation studio, including hypnotherapy and life coaching, among others. I share some of my weird phobias which all your phobias oh, are weird. <laughs> uh, we discuss Tony Robbins attending a 16-day meditation boot camp in Denmark. I am Enlightenment versus Ascension and the book, The Power of Now. Power of Now. And it, you do note that you were sober. I was so that's interesting. <laughs> of, that's the first one in uh, why, a couple of years. I'm shocked actually reading yeah. this. I just didn't want to, I honestly I met Luciana that day. I was not friends with it before that, so mm -hmm. I want to be a fucking big old weirdo, show up with my fucking Why not? 40 ounce and shit. You know what I'm saying? Are. Yeah, that's you, though. That's a cute chick, so I was like, you know. Oh, yeah, so, so be, be someone different. Let me be somebody different wow. for a day or two, and then go back to being weird and, and everything else. <laughs> but, yeah, okay. No, awesome episode, guys. I uh -huh. encourage you to go listen to it. She has some great stories to tell. She's the real deal. Check out the Meditation Studio on Facebook. She also has her own website. Um, again, she was in, what was it, Denmark? Yes. 16 days. Mm -hmm. That's intense. Boot camp. But she breaks it down, goes into the detail about that trip, which is pretty awesome. She's also been to see uh, Tony Robbins for a few days. Uh, something that costs in the thousands to go do. And we also even talk about the documentary that Tony Robbins has on Netflix. That's pretty dope. Mm -hmm. You should watch it, dude. Okay. Um, it's pretty intense. Pretty fucking intense. I, it's, it's, I was like, okay, I'll watch it. And then like, because I like Tony, I like all that motivational shit. But yeah, that, that shit's intense. <laughs> it's because he goes into the, 
he'll go into the audience and like he already has their stories because you have to fill out all this shit. Yeah. So he already know he already knows who he's gonna go talk to. It's not it's not random. But damn, like there's there's this one part of the damn uh in that in that documentary where crowd excuse me burp uh he asked the crowd he's not sober. who here is suicidal and several people fucking raise their hands mm. it's weird and he goes and talks to one or two of them not mm-hmm. like two of them and it's it gets sick it's deep so yeah it's called i am not your guru tony robbins i am not your guru so check it out guys so we talk about that but yeah check out that episode luciana garcia and check out the meditation studio all those services are there. Uh, she does a lot of free stuff too. A lot of stuff done by donation. So check her out. Let's check out the next one. Jason Baca. Yep, that's episode 59, Devil's Triangle Lager. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, <laughs> head brewer of El Paso Brewing Co., uh, Jason Baca, joins me to talk about some of his travels, why and how he started brewing beer, transitioning from home brewing to commercial brewing, the beginning of El Paso Brewing Co., and the brewing process. Also, I suggest an awesome name for their next concoction, which I guess is that Devil's Triangle. Devil's Triangle. <laughs> I was like, that can't be real. Check it out. <laughs> no, like one of the most offensive. It's things It's hilarious I've though, because that's the homie right there. Uh, he's a brewing expert. Went went from home brewing to commercial brewing. Mm. I've been there, guys. Please support this spot, and you know, support all the the dope spots in the city, El Paso and Las Cruces. Um. Of course, craft beer, but the, the ambiance there is awesome. They have some live music as well. They got the big open window, so you can check out the brewery in the back. Uh, Jason's the real deal. He knows his shit. And, but the whole story behind the, the Devil's Triangle, you know, I don't think he's used to like my sense of humor but because I did not get a big old reaction out of it. But <laughs> but he has his own, because he has his own demeanor, so it's not like a bad thing, but that guy's a, one of the nicest guys ever. And and thank you again for uh, you know allowing me to record there, but it was that joke comes from him telling me that a lot of the flavors and the the recipes like are named after some El Paso centric stuff, um, and I'm like oh okay so you, y'all got the uh, the Devil's Triangle Lager that was the joke <laughs> <laughs> and he was just like I, don't, I think he took me seriously he's like no we don't no oh we man don't have that kind of went right over and him I'm huh? like. Yeah, I'm like, oh, it's, I'm, I'm kidding. But um, but yeah, <laughs> so no, but he, he goes into detail about how it's made, you know, all the important stuff. I purposely wanted him to go into detail for all the beer nerds out there. Uh, I'm a, you know, casual beer nerd. And I just thought it'd be dope and some, you know, variety for Sweet Jesus Radio listeners, you know what hmm. I mean? So it was pretty dope. Uh, the thing about that episode uh, is that we did it at, in the brewery. So it's dope because... It was a cool experience. It was something different, but you do have some background noise on it. So whoever listens to it, just, you know, some heads up. There is going to be some background noise, but it's because we're trying to provide variety and have some different, you know, uh, ambiance and environment and, and just uh, network with everybody. So it was awesome. But so I totally vouch for a uh, passive brewing company. It's awesome guys. Check it out. It's on uh, Texas street. I think it's for all, for all y'all plasma heads. It's right next to the Telechris. On Texas, what did, uh, or across Adon- the street from the the White and Underwood popular lawyer guys, right across the street from that. What did Adonis refer to that as? Blood money. The blood money, yeah, <laughs> that easy money. <laughs> Shit, I've been there. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it's right there. It's a really cool spot. Really, really cool spot. It's um, really uh cool to see that El Paso is starting to get more breweries. Yeah, honestly. I mean, there's. I mean, because Las Cruces now. has. You a, guys few. Have a few. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We have Picacho. We have High Desert. Have Bosque. Spotted Dog. Spotted Dog. That's yeah. four. Mm-hmm. I mean, when we would go to Albuquerque, they have and a lot other spots. Yeah, I'd be like, I come back to El Paso, like nobody knew what the fuck a growler was. Mm-hmm. Even today, who the fuck was I talking to? I think it was fucking Chris Delucio. But I mean, he's he's in, a, he's, he's in he's, Cruises he's right a, now. He's a baby. He is. What he the is. He doing? I don't, he's doing something. Well, but he's not. Yes, I swear. Oh, I told that motherfucker. Hey, I, I I'm hitting him up right now. The motherfucker. I, I want to talk some shit about this fool. He lying he's or all, what? He's, no, no, no. Is he really in Chris? That's what he says. That's what Facebook says. Facebook don't lie. What's the name of them video guys here? Palomora. All right. Shout so out to Palomora. He's working with some artists that are going to do a video shoot. Uh, I can say this because the shit's going to drop after all that shit. But there's a video going down and he's all, I'm going to talk shit. He, he, <laughs> he says he already left Crucis, by the way. No, well, either way. I told him. I told this motherfucker. He's all... Yeah, these uh, these guys, 
you know, they hired these guys to this video shoot. And I don't know, he said, he was trying to say the name Pala something. He's like, uh-huh. and I said that, you know, with Palamora. Yeah. Like, yeah, some Las Cruces. Like, no, 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 not those guys. No, nah, I can't be that. I'm like, dude, yes, they're from Cruces, bro. He's like, no, 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 hold on. I'll think of it. <laughs> like, in his mind, there's no way it could be. Oh, little Chris. He, he couldn't fathom, like, Cruz is producing anything of quality. And I was like, guys, bro, you're mostly right. Las Cruces mostly sucks. But I'm just saying, wow. they have their little. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> but they have their pockets of, you know what I'm saying, some quality shit. Yeah. And I told him, because as soon as he said the pala, he's like, pala something. It's like, dude, it's Palamora, dude. I already know. Like, yeah. So, who is it? Uh, a young artist by the name of what? Young Deluxe, I believe, or something along those lines. As a video shoot. I don't give a fuck. I'll, young I'll, Deluxe? I'll, I'll leak it out right here. So, that's coming up. Yeah. Uh, I'll leave it at that because, you know, a lot of stuff is said in confidence here. But be on the lookout <laughs> for Young Deluxe. Uh, <laughs> what else we got here? Well, here? let's talk a little bit about... I guess the month of January. So what happened? I I turned thirty one. Holy shit! The big three one. Uh, Don't don't look. You don't look. I was about to say don't don't look a day past (laughs) thirty. Thank you. Don't let the baby (laughs) face fool you. Yeah, that's true. You do have a baby face. (laughs) She does have a baby face, guys. Um. So yeah, that was uh pretty cool. Um. Break down your birthday. I was not there for it. Uh, let's see for my birthday, what I've been doing, I guess for the past couple of years now is just taking a bunch of time off, kind of doing like a little that's, staycation that's, type yeah, thing. Yeah. Uh, so last year I got to do that and went to a few shows. Um, this year, kind of the same thing, went to atmosphere, a couple other things during the week, um, mm. that I took time off. So it was really nice not to have an alarm clock and worry about that kind of stuff. Uh, really just kind of relax. I've had a pretty trying month i gotta say Holy so shit. a lot of, lot of things going on uh a lot of uh energy i guess um you know expended yes i was just looking for that word boom um masseuse, you know masseuse, in, nah. in, inappropri- <laughs> inappropriately or not um you know fact of the matter is that you know that that's what it was so january was an interesting month i'll put uh, it that way awesome yeah um <laughs> let's see really busy i guess um as far as shows though I mean, what was there? Is atmosphere, of course. I've been laying low as a motherfucker. The I've prof, been trying to behave, but the prof show got canceled. Prof was, was sick. super sick. Um, <clears throat> did get to uh, go to some of the Battle of the Bands that was at uh, was at Lowbrow. Lowbrow. Uh, Lowbrow Palace. Yeah, shout out to uh, E Money, who was the only hip hop artist to make it to the finals. And him Sell and it. Dirty Bird, <laughs> him and Dirty Bird were actually the only so hip hop acts at all. Because, I mean, I don't know. It's a weird battle of the bands. Well, go ahead, my bad. Well, I'm well, just no, saying because he, because his performance is like all energy. You know what I mean? Right. A lot of the bands. Well, I'm I'm 40 years old, guys. For me, battle of the bands is some hard rock, some metal shit, some high energy shit. I, mean, I don't think you you're got, alone in that. You got E Money coming through with some energy. Yeah. Uh, no disrespect to anybody. I'm just saying a lot of the bands is more like low energy, like more that indie rock, mm-hmm. more low tempo sound. Nothing wrong with that. No, but if it's a battle, it's a battle. Like we have to right. come. We're trying to show and prove and uh, get in your face about it. I mean, the but, only you know, I don't know what the criteria was for the judging, so I can't really speak on it. I'm just speaking on my own. Right. Yeah. I mean, we can only obviously go by what we saw, and you know, when he performed during his first round, um, or which was technically the second round, mm-hmm. um. It was real clear that if he didn't make it um, as one of the top performers that night, there was something wrong. And it's rigged. Totally. <laughs> now, I'm not too sure if I would say that about the final. Yeah, um, I wasn't there. So. Well, I know that it was, you know, three bands that won, whatever, whatever. Um, I don't know. But I just, from what I saw, what I experienced, I didn't think anyone brought it really as much as he did. Yeah. Um, but he, I mean, that's what he does, though. So he brought it. He always brings it. Mm-hmm. Shout out to you, money. For sure. Um, so, yeah, I mean, really, so January's, January's been a weird month, I guess. 
What did you do for your birthday then? Oh, my birthday. Let's talk about that. Yeah. So besides taking the time off and not setting an alarm the and staying home. Oh, yeah. Uh, so the actual birthday. Well, my actual birthday was Sunday. Didn't do anything on a Sunday because that's my sacred day. But oh, I shit. did Church. actually have. No. Um, <laughs> I did actually have a uh, little shindig, though. At my girl Les's house. Shout, Shout out to Les. 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 Uh, uh. Thank you so much. Yep. Uh, she's definitely there for me. Um, we just decided to do something kind of last minute. You know, it was like a Wednesday, I think. And we just decided to do something. I was kind of uh, very fine doing nothing, to be perfectly honest with you. And if no one even showed up, I was more than fine. So um, that's just kind of how I am. <laughs> Uh, but the people who came, thank you very much. It was a very interesting uh, night as far as the weather goes. Dang. Rather windy. Yeah, it was mad windy. It even, was, even out in Phoenix. Yeah, it was crazy. Oh, yeah. Which, I was which were, yes, I can't believe you weren't there. Well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I was seeing Joy Diaz, which I've talked about on the podcast. Did you? Keep talking. Is that the pee? Oh, God. So, uh, yeah, the birthday party. That was fun. Uh, some people that made an appearance, uh, verse who has also been a guest on this show, uh, did attend. He gave me a really thoughtful gift of, um, IPA, which is my favorite style of beer. Um, he went ahead and got one of those build your own six packs, which I got to give him credit for, because I don't know if I see that as much in Texas as I do in New Mexico, considering that we're real big. I feel bigger on craft beer than Texas is, or at least in El Paso. Uh, we have a lot of that build your own, uh, six pack and things like that. I'm not sure if, if I've ever seen it in El Paso, but then again, I'm not from there. Uh, anyway, he, he brought me uh, a six uh, a six pack of different IPAs, a couple I hadn't tried, which is always cool. Um, always like to try some new booze as long as it's good or maybe I think it's good. Uh, also, maybe the packaging. I'm kind of into, you know, what the packaging looks like. But either way, uh, he did go ahead and bring that. Uh, we kind I kind of, you know, tried tried a couple here and there. And. You know, there was a, a plethora of things to drink that night. So we're still um, talking about your birthday. Yes. How mm -hmm. many guys did you make out with? <laughs> um, zero. Actually, if there could be a negative <laughs> number, negative. that would negative that, that, yeah, neg it was. What would that be? The, yeah, like, the negative. Uh, I don't know. It's just it's just non-existent. Okay. Making out with your hand. Right. Practicing, practicing on your. Hand. Yeah, I think I slept on Les's couch that. that night. Oh, um. Sure. So the only thing I have to say about that is that. I mean, verse being verse, you know, he was pretty much on one. He, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he had his bottle and everything. He, you know, it was, uh, it was towards, <laughs> it, was, it was towards the end of the night. You know, yeah, we're, we're, we're winding down, you know, it's like, it's, it's very clear, you know, things are going to end pretty soon. Um, and he is insistent that we are going to share an IPA. At this point, I've I've had my fill. You know, I'm, there's worse things than that. Yeah. So he, he's insistent we're going to share this IPA. And then I think, okay, but we're going to share one. No, this motherfucker opens two. And then I, I can't okay. drink it, obviously, because I'm, I'm done. You know, I'm, I'm past the point because I'm done. You don't have to drive? No, I mean, I was like full of alcohol. Full. Yeah, there was no room in the... my little body. Oh, there man. was no oh. more room for any more beer. So this, anyway. This crazy guy. This crazy guy. Yeah, that's a nice way. Um, he, <laughs> he opens two IPAs. Two I've never tried. Oh, man. Tries to, you know, get me to drink one. You know, finally takes it that I'm not going to have it. He's trying to Cosby. Leaves. What? And then I see that he leaves both the beers. They're oh, both man. full. Party foul. But then. Party foul verse. It doesn't stop there, though. Because trying to Cosby people. Because when I brought the beers back, you basically drank them. You pressured me all sick because yeah. they were there for longer than I five minutes. I remember that, but I'll, yeah. Oh, those that you had in the fridge? Yeah. You were like, are you going to drink those? Are you gonna... They were literally there for like two days and you just could not take not it. Like, you yeah. were like, I need to drink it. Like, what is the, the problem? Itch. Yeah, you were. I'm surprised my wine has made it this far. That's that guy's name, Tyrone Bigelow. Yeah. It? That's how I felt like, like what's, what's up with them IPAs? Yeah. Man. Damn. So that's your birthday? That awesome. was That was my birthday. Sounds like fun. Um, I spent the whole night without wearing any shoes. That's weird. I just, I what can I say? I like Showing off the cute feet or what? I sure i was also Pictures coming soon no um but i do dig the carpet at leslie's house because i don't have carpet at home 
It has dog poop on it. Well, you know, I Just mean, yeah, I watch, I watch my, sh- I watch my rugs feed in this eventually. Motherfucker. Yeah, we do. We do. We need to get hey, some little ambiance going. I just came back from the the restroom. Real quick, uh, just heads up, guys. If you're young, enjoy that shit. Because the older you get, the older you get, it's like inversely, conversely, whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> older you get, the longer you have to stay after you think you're done peeing. You could like be, wow. oh, I'm done. I'm about to walk off. You put your shit away and then like some, sh- some peel come out. So don't. If you're getting into your 30s and all that shit, don't walk away too soon, guys. Piss. Give it a give it a good 10 seconds because more comes out. Trust me. Oh, my God. <laughs> for, yeah, all my tr- old, trust for all my old heads. Uh, anyway. Sometimes it's just natural. Sometimes it's the prostate. Mm-hmm. I've, you know, I've had my prostate check like 23 times. Uh, <laughs> anyways, but yeah. I, I do want to say, though. Um, that aside from all the bullshit that's Prostates. been going on, no. um, I will say that I've held really steadfast Holy to shit. my uh, my New Year's resolution, which is to attend more Taco Tuesdays. Oh, there you go. We're about to go to one right now. We're about to go to one right now. Yeah, actually, wrap this up. Nah, well, you haven't even gotten to the the damn other. What are we talking about? Yes, we did. Shit. We didn't yes, even touch did. any of those. What are you talking? Oh, the qu- the the. You have to at least get a couple of them. All right, let's look at it. Okay. Where's your homegirl? She coming through or what? No, no, she's gonna meet us there. Oh she already goodness. there. So shout wait, out, shout so, out to Venus. So because of time, guys, we're gonna pick a couple favorite. Hold on. Yep, let's talk. Couple uh, the jump out of deal. We all let her pick. Thank three you. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. So what's this Dee's is- yellow dress? Oh man. Okay, let's talk about is that, that. Is that another way to say a golden shower? Um, like I'm gonna no. give Dia a yellow dress. It's real quick. quite literally what it is. Oh, okay. I, was, I, ha- so I not, have a yellow. It has nothing to do with pee. No, there's nothing oh, man, to do. I'm disappointed. I have this yellow dress that Luis just loves. Apparently, oh, man. yeah. So yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a whole other episode. But <laughs> he just loves the hell out of that dress, and he's always bringing it up to try to, I guess, make me he uncomfortable. Wants, he wants to wear it. Yeah, I mean, I should lend it to him. I'm sure it, I don't think it'll fit him. So, actually. from you guys were uh, nice enough to suggest some topics to talk about. We're coming close to an hour here. So, did Ozias really post the Las Cruces women reported missing? Yeah, he really did. Is that real? I mean, that's true, but we're not going to talk about that anyway. That's that. Yeah, we don't want to bring the, the yeah. fucking podcast down and shit. Ooh, moving on. Let's see. What else? That's is a couple it? of good ones. There's 19 comments on this thread. Wow. Well, yeah. Hey, thanks for the love, guys. And whoever, whatever doesn't get mentioned today, we'll we'll save them for the next one. But what are the, what's the other one? One of the, what Cooch put? Who's uh? Oh, are there hotter? Um, what is it? Are there hotter dudes in New Mexico or Texas? Is that what it was? Yeah. And uh, my, my response see. on the thread was there are no hot dudes in Las Cruces or in New Las Mexico Cruces. at all. Um, so. I mean, I'll have to disagree. First with of all, you. if it's a competition, just look at me first. For one, <laughs> look at the dimples, look at the beard, oh. look at the how slow I age, even though it takes me 10 minutes to pee. And longer than that for <laughs> other things. And then there's that. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. It says, who do you think are. Oh, and he didn't even say. The the he term he finer. used, yeah, he said fine. That's how you know he's old. I'm sorry, but when a man is fine, fine. he's fine. And so what's word for word? How is it? Uh, who who you think are finer, NM guys or Texas guys? Again, and you seen the guys I roll with? We're I all, really don't want to answer this we're question right now. This is a sensitive topic for me. <laughs> this is a real. D likes D likes them Texas guys. So what hey, what can I say? Boom. It's, everything's bigger in Texas. Uh, I mean, I guess. <laughs> or at least I say that. Um, what else we got? Let's see. What are some good ones? I, from memory. There, there wasn't really. I mean, I mean, I don't want to say there oh wasn't any goodness. good ones, but, you know. Father, come on. Now. Um, something about Bigfoot. Um, ah, fuck that shit. Let's see. Uh, the top couple. Anna, uh, Anna wants us to talk about midgets. I only th- I, I have a rule against midgets. I take offense to that. Transgender midgets. I take offense to that because I'm super legally small. a midget. I'm no, I'm not. A dwarf. But, my bad, dwarf. No. Fascination with uh, what is it? The first one. Uh oh, America's fascination with supersized foods. It exists. Next topic. Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's real. Everything's bigger in America. 
Um, we're just some gluttonous motherfuckers. That's okay, all there is to there's it. actually one here that my that my homie Dan San um, decided to, Dan. to yeah shout out to Dan. Uh, dankruptcy, I guess dankruptcy. that's a term. Oh, uh, when you smoke your stash all in one night and wish you saved a Rillo for the AM. You I speak just, on that because I don't. I just call that. Weed. I just call that you know morning after regret, which I'm unfortunately familiar with. I'm gonna leave you. I'm, I'll let we'll, we'll speak on it because that's not. I don't know shit about the dank. Yeah, I imagine that it is not a pleasant situation to be in. I, for one, unlike you, I'm like to free. save my things. I like to save my things for a later time. <laughs> so I, I wouldn't yeah, let's be... leave some beers laying around. I wouldn't be in such a situation, but that's beyond the point. Dankruptcy. Yeah, that's, New that's word, a term. Guys. Maybe okay. it's a new word. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Oh, Jay. Uh, shout out to Jay. Um, Who's Jay? Wendell. Oh, okay. Uh, he wanted us to talk about Petty Gang. What is that? Petty Gang. Well, I think I'll have to open a tab for that one. Is that something he's doing or? Um, no, it's like a thing. It's it's like super trendy to be petty, I guess. Okay. There's um, a gang, apparently. Uh, Petty gang. gang. Let's see. Um, I mean, it looks like it's a couple of things. It looks like uh, you can find Petty Gang on Twitter. Uh, Urban Dictionary, actually. Let's kind of... Oh, Tumblr as well. Okay, so the, the top definition in for Urban Dictionary, for petty in Urban Dictionary is when someone takes a small subject and blows it out of proportion. I mean, for me, that's just being dramatic. And I can name a few people that are, so, that are that way. But at times, making something otherwise insignificant into something bigger to suit their own agenda. I'm super familiar with the with the other end of that. That's for sure. You're part of Petty Gang. I no, think. no, no. I'm I'm not in Petty Gang. I I, I have you're been the I have been of I, I have been affected by the Petty Gang. I Let's just put it that way. I think you founded Petty Gang. I really don't care. Um <laughs> to be honest with you, uh you know, it is what it is, but yeah, it's it's a really um it's it's like a really uh trendy thing now to be petty. I the think petty gay, it's, that's that's not good for America. I mean, see, see that's why that's why you I, have I this bad Trump. customer service because I blame Trump. Trump. Just he's barely he's barely got into office. Like, you know, I don't care. Petty gay, I'm trying to be petty him. right now. Okay. Fuck Trump. There you go. Let's see. So Let's, that was that was one. I'm about to pick some of these. Let me see. There's really, I mean, I'm I'm looking at the ones that are good, honestly. Uh, who do you think are finer? I really think that's an interesting question. <laughs> we already talked about that. One. Yeah, well, I'm like I said, uh, Bigfoot. Don't want. To How come it's not away? I don't know, because you post too much. Oh, Venus yeah. wants to know, uh, wants us to talk about how I just dropped oh, the yeah. What's greatest mixtape of all time I have on my birthday. What the fuck that means? Neither do I. And how would she know what since she, she wasn't she, at she wasn't my there? birthday? No, she what was not. She, that will that'll be addressed tonight Shots fired. during Taco Tuesday. I think she's buying me tacos actually. Now, so now I think she has I think to. it's gonna make up for it. Now she has to. Uh, let's see. Um. Let's see. Oh, Just read them out to me. Joe has a good one here. I'll, I'll speak on it. If uh, you read them out. Guest of any podcast sometimes oh, fail to bring stories to the table. Good one. Bitch, that's what makes you interesting. Can you comment on this and which interview, if any, has been a true eye rolling experience? I can't uh, drop names. There's been several. Here's the thing I try to prep guests. Sometimes guests, I, I reach out to them. Hey, do you want to be on the show? Sometimes they reach out to me. Hey, I want to be on your show. Cool. I prep them the same way. This is how it's going to go down. We're going to probably talk about this, this, and that. Please, please, please come prepared with two or three cool stories about anything. It doesn't have to be about whatever the fuck your profession is or whatever. If you're a rapper, it doesn't have to be about rapping. If you're a photographer, it doesn't have to be about that. Just cool stories, entertaining stories. <clears throat> like, oh, yeah, yeah, cool, cool, okay, don't worry about it. It's like, yeah, it helps if you jut them down. Yeah, no, nah, I'm just going to wing it. I'll, I'll remember. All right, cool. So most of the time, it, you know, it works out fine. But there's been times where they just totally forget. They just space it. And it's like all awkward. It's like, okay. And it's like, whatever. We still make it work and the episode still comes out good. But, uh, you know, there's been times where afterwards they're, they even reach out to me. It's like, oh man, can we do another one? Cause this, this and that. You I get forgot, one shot. I forgot to say this. I forgot. To, I told you come with some notes, some mm -hmm. little bullet points and shit. We can do another one, but it's going to be a while. Cause I mean, I have a 
a whole other list of people, people I want to people try to get think in. this right here is easy yeah i mean come on i mean to, it yeah. can be you know it's fun but it's not always easy no um so yeah the stories are a big part of it and i mean it's not like because this is a small podcast and you know hopefully it's gonna grow but uh these major podcasts they're working with celebrities so they have this whole body of work they can talk about you know we're here in our area so part of it is your background that's half the podcast the other part is going to be some stories you know what i mean so there's a fine line between um sharing your experiences and telling a story and gassing yourself up there you honestly. go there so you go better, so that, no better, disrespect to nobody but better watch it come I'll with call some you stories. out on that yeah come with some stories have some stories mm-hmm. so that's that's that question what's what let's go with one one more really there's is that it i think that's really it honestly right. i mean we had some other strange ones um strange ones let's see a strange one uh let's see besides the midgets one okay Ah, um, you know louis had some come on ugh, where's louis yeah let me just let me let this load real quick okay uh gonna feel offended if we don't yeah talk about him. Uh, oh yeah sure i'm sure he cares so much um Oh, okay. I finally found it. Here. Okay. How hipsters can't even due to rising avocado prices. <laughs> that one hits close to home, though. I'm not going to lie. Oh, man. Can't buy as many avocados. Uh, My wife, the tramp, and how I married common street trash. Is that true? That is a lie. Is, Luis, is, Luis is, is married? not married. No. He's a street tramp. Or he's a she that, street, I he's, think he's he's street ta- trash. He's talking about himself. He's talking about for himself. Sure. He's looking in the mirror. He's married to himself. D's yellow dress. Okay, we're talking about. When that. is uh, Daniel Brewer moving to Lubbock? As soon as possible, hopefully. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Why? No, why? Not when. Does it say when? I don't think so. Then we have. He had another one. How oh, we? Nah, fuck that. He got all serious at some point. Oh yes, where is it? It's 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 where? Oh, the American business environment has fundamentally changed following the insider trading and savings and loan scandals. Explain business business ethics and how they are applied today. <laughs> he straight jacked that from someone's goddamn business homework, like for Someone sure. Is copied and pasted. I don't know where he's getting this shit from. Hey guys, when it comes to War Two, he's he's a wannabe artist. Don't buy his shit. Wow. Shit's whack. The music he makes, don't buy it, guys. Visit his page for the memes, though. For the memes. Visit his page for the the played out memes. No, they're ridiculous. (laughs) Most of them are old from four four years ago. Wow. I hope he listens to this one. (laughs) God. Okay. So anyway, let's wrap this shit yeah, up. let's wrap it up. Um, uh, so, what here. do we want to talk about? I guess to kind of end it out. What are so besides Valentine's Day? What else we got going on for February? February. What's what's happening? It's Black History Month. The shortest month of the year. Of course, oh. the man always gives them the shortest month. That's for sure. So, let's you guys see. read the book autobiography of Malcolm X. Read autobiography of MLK. I've read the, the the former already, and I'm currently reading the latter. So, um, so this uh, weekend there is actually mm, uh, this weekend there is a show uh, that I'm rather interested in. Maybe you are too, because uh, this will be out in the next day or so. Um, yeah. There is a show, Fixed Radio Vibe. So basically, it's a fixed idea, fixed idea, uh, Ready La Chusma. And vibes arise. So this is all ska, reggae, Spanish, just just great music all nice. around. Nice. Three really great bands. So they'll be playing at Lowbrow uh, Friday night. Lowbrow is one of my favorite venues in the city. This Friday? Not gonna, yeah, this Friday. Holy shit. I'm I'm going. So I'm just saying I'm gonna have to hurry up and drop this shit. All yeah. Right, uh, let's see. Um, anything else going on? There is a. A pretty interesting art and music show going on this Saturday in Las Cruces at Barricade Culture Shop. If you've never been there, I mean, it's a artist co-op. It is a skate shop. It is a art gallery. It is a, um, you know, just a, a place for artists to really uh, kind of commune, exchange ideas and express themselves. Um, it's it's very uh, organic and beautiful. The homie, uh, the homie uh, Saba wear, uh, if you guys know Saba, he actually runs it. Um, the mastermind behind it, just all around great vibes. It's a dope spot, lots of graph, uh, just beautiful. So that that's a really dope spot if you've never been. It is an all ages event, as most of their events nice. are. It ends super early, so you can still get to other things. Um, but otherwise, that's 
you know, really all I see other than, you know, the the barrage of uh, Valentine's Day stuff is going to be coming up. There you go. Which, you know, whatever. So any thank yous or any shout outs you want to give? Uh, let's see. Got to give shout out to Too Zany, uh, of course. That's uh, the homies also for just bringing so many shows and great things to El Paso. Oh, yeah. They just had a sold out. Uh, Probably. Yeah, Khalid show, um, you know, bottom floor and top floor. Uh, really, to be honest with you, shout out to Tricky. Um, yeah. They've been hella busy, too. I think they had uh, three shows, you know, back to back. They had like a Anti-Flag, they had Revolution, and mm. then they had the Khalid show. Mm. So they had quite a busy weekend. They're still uh, super relevant. Love that venue as well. Uh, Bobby, the owner, I've been working with her recently on a couple of things, which... Uh, was just announced today actually that sick life show that is happening mm. there at the perch so the perch is uh yeah the perch is what we used to call buoy feathers which is upstairs oh, they changed it? yeah they changed it so it's called the perch now um dope little spot if you've never been up there it's a really nice little bar has a bunch of seats and things like that small stage uh really cute overlooks um you know downtown el paso the sick life uh has been working silently um but really strongly Ooh. on quite a few things uh this project is going to be i think uh really amazing for el paso it features a lot of el paso musicians uh, and just really showcases the talent um that is around uh, also does feature some people from las cruces of course shout out to drew and uh omizi of ypc they're also featured on the album so um, something I've been working with also and in, in involved in, so I'm really excited for it all to come out. Uh, it's going to be different. It's going to be exciting, and I think people are going to like it. So definitely make sure to come out. That's going to be in March, though. <clears throat> March uh, March 4th. That it'll is a Saturday. Here. Hey, it'll be here before you know it. It's less than a month away, guys. Got to make plans. Uh, tickets are on <clears throat> sale. The event is up on Facebook. Make sure you go ahead and search it at Sick Life. Uh, you can get all the info there. But otherwise, I mean, uh, I'm looking forward to going to Albuquerque to watch The World Has No mm. Idea. All right. Gonna, again? I, yeah, again, yeah. We did it in Cruces, sold it out here. Um, Tuesday, doing it in Albuquerque, and I'm going to go up there and meet the homie Frankie. Shout out to Frankie. Uh, Frankie? Gonzalez? Oh, we're going to meet him there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to meet somebody. No, no, no. We're going right. to meet up there. We're going right. to have an epic weekend, as we as we do. And, I mean, that's really all I'm looking forward to, nice. to be honest with you. All right, shit. Well, we're going to close it up, guys. Uh, remember, we are on SoundCloud, iTunes, and pretty much all the popular podcast apps such as Stitcher. Thanks again to people that are listening. Extra special thanks to the people that share it, mm -hmm. whether it be on social media or word of mouth. Shout out to our current sponsors who are UFO Studios, Overstreet Productions, for your custom t-shirt printing needs and uh sun city tattoo saragossa the saragossa location guys 1441 north saragossa road uh, suite 1d um and if you want to promote your business or anything else hit me up guys uh, let's make some magic happen uh this is sweet jesus radio guys thank you for playing peace sweet jesus radio <laughs>